for multiple time Muay Thai world champions and Tao Noi Por Telecan, the hardships came early in life. Growing up in Nak and Ratchasima, Thailand, he was raised in extreme poverty and experienced the trials and tribulations of going through day to day life with very little. The grim reality became the driving force to dig his family out of the trenches and pursue martial arts in the hopes of a brighter future. Despite the financial obstacles, Sing Tao Noi still found a way to train and maximize the resources that he had back then. The kind of dedication that he exhibited soon became synonymous with the type of work ethic Sing Tao Noi showcased as an elite athlete. With determination and dedication, success was something that he would build with his own two hands as Sing Tao Noi became one of the most popular Muay Thai practitioners in Thailand, winning numerous prestigious titles throughout his celebrated career such as the Lumpini Muay Thai World Championship. Famous for his relentless style in the ring, Sing Tao Noi has beaten some of Thailand's biggest Muay Thai superstars, having 300 professional bouts under his belt. Things took a turn for the worse when his Muay Thai career came to an end and he had to go back to selling goat milk to make ends meet. Fortunately, Sing Tao Noi received an offer to join the Evolve MMA in Singapore as an instructor, and since then, he had been able to support his family. Just when things started to look promising in the life of Sing Tao Noi, a devastating news came his way, revealing that he was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer. The cancerous tumor was about 2 centimeters long. It went through my whole nasal cavity, all the way down to the lymph nodes in my neck. Sing Tao Noi described. Sing Tao Noi had to undergo several medical procedures in Singapore to treat his severe condition. With his teammates, friends and family by his side, Sing Tao Noi persevered through all the bleak thoughts and negative feelings with every fiber of his being. Receiving the best treatment possible, it all paid off months later when the doctor told him that he is cancer-free. Through this battle against cancer, Sing Tao Noi learned that life is valuable and should not be taken for granted. It's important to love yourself and take care of your loved ones as you don't know when you'll die, he mused. After overcoming the life-threatening illness, Muay Thai was out of the question going forward for Sing Tao Noi. However, Sing Tao Noi valued his second shot at life, awakening his willpower to not only make a full physical recovery, but to get back to the sport that he loved. Making his one Super Series debut this past May, Sing Tao Noi authored a spectacular performance to the delight of the crowd, outclassing WBC Muay Thai Super Bantamweight World Champion Joseph Lassiri. Despite the long layoff, Sing Tao Noi appeared that he did not miss a beat, dropping Lassiri twice in the first round and consistently connecting his signature sharp combinations. In the second round, Sing Tao Noi unleashed a torrent of impactful strikes, coercing the referee to step in and call a halt to the contest. The 38-year-old Thai kickboxer returns to action on the undercard of One Kingdom of Heroes in Bangkok, Thailand on October 6, squaring off against Kudo Masahide of Japan. I believe a great martial artist is someone who knows his responsibilities, someone who is disciplined and can stick to a schedule and work hard," he stressed. Sing Tao Noi asserted that he does not need any more motivation to capture a victory because all he has to do is reflect on his rough experience two years ago and think about his beloved family back home. I will fight for my future the best way I know how. And come 6th of October in Bangkok, I will take on a talented competitor and win, he guaranteed.